Illinois, nine. Iowa, six. Yes, that score is correct. And yes, it was as mind-blowing as you could imagine. I want you to look at the final play of the game here on the stat sheet. That right there. If you're looking on here, it says uh, shotgun, Petrus, Spencer, pass complete, short left to Laporta, Sam for four yards, lost to the Iowa 16, lateral for five-yard gain to the Iowa 24, fumbled at the Iowa 24, recovered by Iowa, uh, Reagan, Nikio at the Iowa 18, lateral to Petrus, Spencer for two, blah, 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 blah. It just goes on and on because they were trying to lateral this thing. They tried to win the game at the end on, you know, one of the crazy whatever plays. Oh, man. Uh, Looking at this, Illinois... One yardage, 316 to 222. They won yards per play, 4.2 to 3.4. They won rushing, 200 to 52. Iowa gave up 200 rushing yards in this game. Uh, they won drive points, 3 to nothing. Um, they won, uh, Iowa won turnovers, 3 to 1. Of course they did. They missed a 45-yard field goal, so that was the end of it. Um, and Jeff Fogle said, basically a college version of Colts Broncos debacle from Thursday night. Here is the takeaway from this game. Illinois has looked really, really good thus far. They have beaten both Iowa and, uh, (laughs) just said, my goodness, Iowa plays Ohio State in two weeks at the shoe. Uh, How bad is that score going to be? Not as bad as you would think because Iowa's defense is still absolutely fantastic. This is still a really, really good defense. So do not count them out of that game. Uh, Although I will tell you that Ohio State is going to win it. It just may look closer to like that Notre Dame game than anything else. So, uh, looking at this, the DeVito ankle sprain is a huge deal. They have already beaten Wisconsin. They've already beaten Iowa. They are five and one. That Ryan Walters defense is chef's kiss, right? Just perfect. But how much more can they possibly lean on that defense? Uh, you're going to have to ride with Arter uh, Sitkowski. Going forward, Tommy DeVito, high ankle sprain. Who knows how long he's going to be out. That's kind of an issue. Uh, Tommy DeVito was 6 of 11 for 42 yards in this. The it, it, It's not the stats. It is the calming leadership that he brings. Sidkowski, 13 out of 19, 74 yards, one interception. He was not great. He was not bad. But we've seen Sidkowski in the past. There's a reason why they brought in DeVito, right? Like This offense under DeVito was just better. Uh, Chase Brown, 31 carries, 146 yards against an Iowa defense. I mean, just unbelievable. Uh, 82 Atlantic said, is Brett Bielema the Big tw- or, excuse me, the Big Ten coach of the year? Uh, we still got a long ways to go. At this point in the season, absolutely. Absolutely. He is the Big 12, or I keep saying it, Big Ten coach of the year right now because nobody expected this out of Illinois. Like, they are awesome currently. But, man, we still got a lot of season to go. A lot of season to go. Um, Yeah, Chase Brown is an absolute stud. Absolute stud. They have got to find a way to get Isaiah Williams the ball more because he is explosive in that wide receiver room. Uh, He only had three for negative seven on the day. you you got to find a way to get him the ball. Like, Chase Brown is your stud. He's your workhorse. But Isaiah Williams is good, too. So you got to find ways to get that that receiver room a little bit more involved. And I don't know that you can do it with Zidkowski. I mean, we'll see. We will see. Uh, looking at the win probability here, uh, I mean, it was Illinois pretty much all day. It, it, there were so many opportunities for Illinois in this game. They would get down to the goal line, and, and they'd throw an interception. They, You know, the fumbles, uh, fumbling on the punt returns. Like, the drive for Iowa that was basically two drives – was nuts because they they went for a little bit. They pointed the ball. Uh, Illinois fumbles the ball and gives it back to them. Iowa goes back 15 yards after they get the fumble, and then they punt it back again, and then they settle for a field goal. After, I mean, <laughs> it, it's like the perfect Kirk Ferentz situation. It's just mind-blowing to me uh, how this happens, how it works. Uh, I mean, cheers to Illinois. Five and one is five and one, regardless. Uh and we're hoping that Tommy DeVito comes back strong, but man, that defense under Ryan Walters is something serious. You got Walters and you got Chase Brown. You got a pretty good football team. Those lines of scrimmage are serious, absolutely serious. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. 
make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>